So we're doing a little comparison here. We're uh, testing the Griot's Garage Best of Show Liquid Wax and Chemical Guys Butter Wet Wax. Chemical Guys is on the right side. Griot's Garage Best of Show is on the left. They've been on there for about five minutes now. So we're going ahead and see uh, what the removal process is like, which one's more difficult. So here's the Butter Wet Wax. Uh, fairly easy, smooth. Now let's try the griots right here. Pretty much the same. Go ahead and wipe it off. So this isn't really a long video or anything special, but um, they removed it. They remove roughly the same. If I had, they're basically the same price. This one's like eighteen. This one's like twenty, or nineteen ninety nine. Um, if I had the truest one, I would definitely get the Griot's Garage. The butter wet wax is good, but it just, I don't know. A couple of times I've used it, it would. I don't even leave it on there that long, especially with the butter wet wax. You're not supposed to. I mean, you can, but you can take it right off, right when you put it on. So I put it on there, waited for about 30 seconds to a minute, and tried removing it with a clean microfiber towel, and it would just like smear and smudge and everything. So if you're thinking about between these two, I'd recommend getting the griots. Um, so I want to mention one thing about the griots garage here real quick. It says I had a cure for 20, 30 minutes before removing. Um, let's see, what, what else does it say? Wipe. That's what has to do with a clean premium microfiber towel. So, for the 20 to 20 to 30 minutes of it sitting on the paint, you can do that. Um, that's what I did with my second coat to really make sure it's on there. So I have two coats. I have one coat where I just put it on there, let it sit for a minute or two, and then wiped it off. And the second coat I have um, is on there for about 20, 30 minutes or more because I was doing online school. So... With the 30 minutes of curing, I would not really recommend that. It was kind of hard getting it off. It came off fine, but it left a lot of splotchiness. Like on the door, it would have like these little black splotchy marks and everything. I had to take it out in the sunlight with, with my detail spray right here. And clean it up a little bit. But if you're going to use this, I would recommend maybe 2 minutes. Two or three minutes, um, five at most, because you really don't need to let it sit that long. I mean, it's gonna be on there anyway. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna use this, I recommend two to three coats. You don't have to, but that's what I do. Um, I, before I get, I may do another one before it gets like super cold here. Um, with the chemical guys, let's see what are the directions. It doesn't really say how long to let it sit on there. Um, I'd recommend letting it sit for at least a minute. No more than that or it gets really weird and smeary. Um, one more thing. Which one do I think will last longer? Well, it depends where your car is. Does it sit in the garage like mine does? Is it out in the weather all day, every day? Is it daily driven? Mine's daily driven. May, sometimes, sometimes I may not even drive it at all. But with this one, it's okay. Um, it it'll work. But if you had to choose between these two, definitely get the Griot's Garage. It's just more. It's more quality, I guess you could say. It's just smoother. It's slicker. It looks way better. Like I've done my car in this one time, and it looked okay. But comparing it to this. There's not even a comparison. The Griot's Garage beats it. So, like I said, if you're going to choose, maybe think about getting the Griot's. It is two or three dollars more. But I mean, what the heck? It's better. It's more quality.